The life of each one of us is often complex in many ways. Very often in the daily struggles we face, we face all kinds of decisions to make, and at times it can seem very confusing. And yet ultimately, our mission in life is to simply reflect upon the simplicity of God and the message that he gives to us. It cannot be complex, really, for God's message is simple. And the opening lines of the first reading today from the prophet Amos put it as clearly as it can be. Seek good and not evil, that you may live. Seek good, not evil. Day by day in our great decisions in life and in the daily small decisions we make in the midst of all of our complexity of day-to-day -day struggle, we need to simply remember, seek good and not evil. Those two do not really go together. We can't sort of have a little mix of them. We'll have basically good, but a little evil mixed in won't do too much harm. No, not at all. We need to seek good and not evil, to let our life be filled with virtue, and to look to those things within our own hearts that are not of God as being alien to who we are meant to be. Our sins do not make us human. Our sins make us less than human, less than what God wants us to be. If we are as we're meant to be, then we will seek good and not evil, not only in the way we speak, but in the day-to-day -day actions of our life, in all the small matters of life, the little details out of which our life is woven. Good and evil do not really coexist together. In the presence of the ultimate goodness of our Lord Jesus, we see in the gospel that the power of Satan just rushes away and in the very dramatic sign of today's gospel that is conveyed to us in an extraordinary way, but simply as a way of teaching us that when Christ is present, evil is repelled. There is no place for both together. And so as that is true in the coming of the Lord into this world and in the event we hear about in today's gospel, so too it is present and it's real in our own day-to-day -day struggles. For all of the confusion and complexity that we face, seek good and not evil. That is the message for us. Let us be filled with the presence of Christ and show that through the way in which we live day by day, loving God and loving neighbor. And that all those things within us that are not worthy of the Lord, those things which we can cling to, but which weigh us down and are not of God, away with them all. Let them all rush away. We have no time for that in our brief life on this earth. Seek good, not evil. Let our life be filled with virtue as we live in the imitation of Christ. And let all those things which are not of God, away with them all. We have no time for that. We are to be one in Christ, giving our whole life to him, in that way, serving and loving our Heavenly Father. We see the example of this in the great martyrs as yesterday and the feast of St. Peter and Paul. Today, around the world, we also celebrate the, the anniversary of the martyrdom of the first martyrs of Rome. These are people who, who died for Christ. And we are called day by day by seeking good in everything we do, by filling our life by God's grace with virtue, we are called not simply to die for Christ, but through the quality of our daily life to live for him. It all comes down to the first words of today's first reading. In all I say, in all I think, in all I do, in everything, seek good and not evil. Now let us offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Benedict, and for the Church throughout the whole world, especially in those very, very many places where it is facing persecution. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray, pray for all of those who are close to our own hearts and for all people who may be suffering in any way. For God's blessing and strength for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray for all of our families. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray that those whom the Lord is calling to serve in the priesthood and the religious life will respond to that call, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Let's pray for those who have drifted away from the practice of the faith may come home, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for all of the faithful departed, we pray to the Lord. 
Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear these and all of our prayers, which we offer to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spirit, we'll drink. Lord God, be pleased to receive us and accept the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of all my sins. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God. 